All right, what's poppin'? You already know it's your boy, Mr. J Hill. We in the building. Um, man, it's snowing out this motherfucker. I moved out of Baltimore to get away from this shit, man. The snow fou- it followed me, man. They said we here. Uh, conversation series, you already know. Um, we got a special guest in the building. Oh, uh, man. Um, this was a, a pleasant surprise. Martina Snow is here. What's poppin'? That's not my mother- name. My name is Martina Marie. Martina Marie? Yeah. Why they tell? Wow. So y'all set me up? Nah, ain't nobody set you up. Martina who t- Marie. Who told you my name was Martina Snow? I feel like somebody said that, but maybe not. Nah. I mean, get me right. Set I the record straight. I ain't, I, ain't say, I ain't being mean. Set the, no, you I thought you were being, being messy. I Fuck thought you no. were being oh, Okay. No, no, no. Set no. the record straight. My name is Martina Marie. I'm sorry. I apologize. Period. I apologize. There ain't nothing more to say. So was that ever like a... The, am I... Be real though. Am I like totally off or like did no, I? No, you know it was like a blog thing to where like I posted a picture and I was like, you know, Martina Snow okay. was cute. You know, my birthday in December. My name Martina. You know, winter girl. Like shit like that. It was okay. like a little. Hush. So that was a joke. Yeah, but it was. It's not like I changed my name to Martina Snow. Like my name was Martina Marie. Yo, that's crazy. I'm gonna die, Martina Marie. That's okay? cr- can we take a shot real quick? Yeah, please. I mean, I don't want to take a shot on a fuck up, but nah, come on, let's it. get it. You got to. You got to. You got to cover that I, up. Hey, hey. Nah, I'm not covering it up. I'm a man. I'm. I yeah. Like I make a mistake. Fuck it. I said I feel like I was saying that the whole time you never corrected me. Nah, you never said my name that once. Nah. Fuck it. We out. We outside. It's lit. Fuck it. Take a shot. Toast to the fuck ups. Toast to the fuck ups. It's life. Hmm. You need to finish this shit. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. We're gonna fuck that up in here. That's crazy. But anyway, so I'm I'm gonna look at it from a positive. This 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 the positive for me. At least I kind of know who you are. Yeah. Because that shows that you ain't a nobody out this motherfucker. Well, yeah. You know, I've been, like, freestyling in my car and shit. You know, just doing stuff on the internet and getting recognition from different, like, celebrities and stuff. But, you know, that right there was just mess. So. Damn. Let's talk about it. I, um, you know, they say first impression is, 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 like, the last impression. Hopefully, y'all ain't fuck it up. OD, I apologize again. But nah, um, you good. Let's talk about that. So, you posted a picture. How did this happen? Because I seen it. And this was like me just doing my research on other shit for real. And I came across that and I heard you, I heard you uh, freestyle. That shit was fire. You were singing too, right? Yeah. A that few of them. Yeah. No, that shit was hard. That Thank shit was hard. So how did, sure. like, how did that shit happen? Like you posted a picture. Yeah. It was like around my birthday. You know, I had a bunch of birthday. I had a birthday photo shoot and I had blue hair, you know, and I just kind of did a sexy photo shoot and, you know, it was kind of like a Martina Snow type of thing, you know, but then, um, some hotties start commenting under the picture like you will never be <laughs> Tina Snow and it just kind of got worse and then blogs start posting the picture like 1501's new artist changed her name to Martina Snow and I was just like it was it just start kind of like a wave of lies and just miss so you know the hotties just kept coming and coming and so I did a freestyle mm. and I just kept I was trolling with them basically you know like because it's the internet it's just a big old playground yeah, to me. It, you know what I'm saying so that's all that was, but it, it's not. That's not my reality. Mm. So, I, um, where where you originally from? I'm from Ohio, Toledo, Classy city, baby. Are you staying in Ohio now? Nah, I live in Houston. You, you staying in Houston? So, question. That's what I wanted to ask, because I know, like, in different cities, when you coming up in a city, a lot of things be be local, and I guess it, it, it hasn't been like publicized to the open yet, right? Right. And then sometimes when somebody get hot they started to like still rap in their reality or talk about their re- reality. And what happens is now everybody know about what's going on where they locally from. Right. So f- right. I wanted to ask like, is Tina Snow or something that, is that like a Houston thing? Is that something? Cause I'm at, what I'm asking is did Megan Thee Stallion create that? Or that's just the Houston thing. I guess the that's, Snow thing. that's her alter ego, Tina Snow, whoever okay. Tina is. I don't know who Tina is in her life. I know my name is Martina, you know what I'm saying? So it could have been possibly Megan uh, inspired or whatever, because I think artistry and music is just all inspired. Everybody's inspired 100%. by something. Clearly, she was inspired by Tony Snow, Pimp C. So it's just uh, just a recycling industry, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, I didn't think it was no big deal when I posted it, because in other freestyles, if people actually know me and watch me, I've referenced Megan before in my um, my freestyles. Not on nothing bad, but just kind of like on metaphoric level. So it was just kind of like... I didn't think that was gonna happen at all. I didn't do that to troll or like. I just posted a picture. I thought it was cute, and then like it just kind of went left. So I guess it is kind of of a, a um like a region thing because like you said um you said Pimp C. I guess he because I I don't I'm, I don't know too much about that. So like I guess he had something like Tony Snow. Right. So I'm a, I'm assuming that's like a spinoff of that. Right. So that kind of would be like a regional thing. Like it wouldn't be like far fetched if I heard another girl say Tina Snow because like that's. Tony Snow is in y'all region, I guess, in, in that region in Houston. 
Yeah, I mean, she's explained this in like multiple interviews. Yeah, you know I never, what I'm saying? I never so knew that. You so you just told me something. She said, do your research. Like, that's everybody know that. I just don't know why they were trolling on me. How I might know? I'm not a. Who said I'm a Megan Thee Stallion fan? Shit, I don't know who, uh, who you're a <laughs> yeah. fan of. But I'm just saying, like, most people, I'm just I'm just saying most people know. So. No, it's all good. If you watch her and stuff, you'll know. So. Yeah, I, I would have never known that moment. You just yeah. told me something. I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. I'm, I'm just one of them people that like good music. And she made good music. So it's like, I was never like, I ain't like her because of, this is, that ain't got shit to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the internet the internet controls the narrative sometimes if you let it you know 100%. what i'm saying so that's all that is it ain't nothing big to me i sleep good every night i mean but we can't like ignore that i guess like the internet and that elephant being in the room on the internet right. you being another female artist on 1501 you know what i'm saying all right but they do that to all the artists if he's he, the last few artists he signed they was under there like you'll never be megan it's just like it's never gonna end you right. know what i'm saying like whoever he signs just gonna keep doing it so it's like I like to play though, so I like to troll. Like you, mm, yeah, like play with me. I'ma play back. That's just how I am. So play if you want, nigga, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, so I just have fun with it. That's all. If anybody took like personal offense, that's, that's on your body. It's like really personal. I mean, I think it's 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 also a positive thing too because like you know they say all publicity is good publicity, right? So like shit, they people checking for like they checking. So now you got something good. Clearly, yeah. what I'm listening to is good. Then you gonna have some people that might be what you call them. Uh, Cloud chasing? Nah, Meg. What was you like the hive? What was it? Be oh, the, like hotties. The the hotties. The, the okay, okay, and, okay. Yeah. So you, you got you might have some girls from the hotties or whatever come in to troll you and they fuck around, and start liking your shit. Now they're your fans and yeah, that's, niggas can that's share happened. fans. Happened. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. how long have you been doing this music then? Like, how long have you been rapping? And shit like that? Um, a, f- a few years now. Like I've been like doing like uploading videos and stuff in my dorm and like you know as a young girl but um i actually started taking it serious and like getting in the booth and recording like in 2016 mm. and that's when um kind of like social media start kind of like really popping i think in my opinion and um the so the monica so gone challenge had came out and all my friends was like do it do it do it so i did it and then it went viral and then i did another one and that one went viral and Oh, you're just, just a viral like, sensation all this motherfucker. I really am. I, like, post random stuff online, and it always go viral. I don't understand. Like, it's just crazy. Tell I just me, think it was my destiny, you know? Tell me how, how how the viral shit been working, because I know for me, sometimes I don't really like viral, because, like, you can't really get uh, a core fan base. Have you been going viral for, like, similar things, or has it been, like, different type of shit? A lot of rap. Um, some random stuff like me, cause I, I like to be funny a lot. So like I do like little funny videos or I, even with my, my kids, cause I got kids. Mm. I do videos with them. A couple of them catch, they go viral. It's just, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just natural. Are you, are your fans are like, are they like changing over? That's what I'm trying to get at. You know what I'm saying? Like what if you, you do mean? a, let's say you might do a video f- being funny and you might get like 10,000 views. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then you might do a rap video might be just different. You know what I'm saying? Like are, are the people coming over there saying your funny videos looking at your music or it's like That's a different thing. audience? People follow me for all different type of reasons. I have like nurse practitioners following me, following me like doctors, dentists, cause I'm a nurse. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So it's like College, kids, nurse, you got a lot going on. You don't I see do. those big I do. shit. I do. I do. And you know, I just like to stay busy. That's the only like way I feel like my mind is like clear. You know what I'm saying? Because when you like at a still place and you just not doing nothing, you kind of just got to thinking about a whole bunch of irrelevant ass shit. So like, I just always told myself like to stay busy and like focused on the goal. And then you know, I love hard, so that's where the kids came in at. You know what I'm saying? Oh so, shit! Here we go. Yeah. So that's all. <laughs> you, you still know, you I still just, in love right now, or huh? You still like loving hard right now? What? Are you still loving hard right now? You said you love hard. That's where the kids came from. That's, yeah, you know that's saying? never going to change. Okay. I mean, right. that you was my way of saying you got a man right now or not. Nah, I ain't want to. I was oh, trying to be slick. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but you didn't okay, catch. So okay, okay. I was trying to keep it on a little profile. But, you know, I think everybody got somebody. I like know? that. <laughs> so you can't feel no way. Everybody has a person, you know. So. I mean, that might not be. I mean, Phil was probably got a few people, but I mean. Or a few people. No. You might have a person's or persons. I don't know, but everybody I mean, got somebody. I mean, today's time, shit, whatever, whatever it is. But how is it making the music and you doing all, you juggling all this stuff? Are you still in school? Uh, I'm, t- I'm about to start back taking classes, yeah. Okay. Why did you stop, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, you know, I had to find that balance. Now, mm-hmm. I don't want to put too much on myself at one time. Like, I'm just getting into the industry. want to get, like, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, being a mom. And then I'm working. 12 hour shifts as a nurse, COVID, just a bunch of stuff. So, so if you want to give yourself that balance, what changed to want to start again? Cause you say you about to go back. Like what changed from when you stopped to going back? Cause now it seems like 
the music shit is doing better than before, I'm assuming you continue to grow. Well, why go back now? Because I never, I never, I didn't go to school to be a nurse for the, like the money. I mean, of course we all do stuff for the money. Cause you think about how much is made. What's the salary for this year? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at the same time, I started doing nursing after my grandmother passed. My grandmother passed away from cancer in 2007. So, yeah. you know, my mom is a nurse and she took care of my grandmother in hospice. You know what I'm saying? The house that like we grew up in on Buckingham in Toledo. So, like after that i went to cna school and then i started going to the nursing homes and taking care of the old people and like serving them lunch and stuff and i don't know it just kind of like it's something i just like to do so even if i do well when i do you know get deep into this music shit and i surpass and i do billboard chart and all that and i'm just in it i will still keep my nursing like license active like mm. you know what i'm saying so, no it's so much you can do with it it's deeper than rap like it's, it's deeper than rap it's way deeper than it's rap. way <laughs> deeper than rap okay now that's dope like a lot of people they do things to like I don't like when I went to school I uh I went to school for sociology I hate that shit you feel me like honestly if I would have been immersed into music or the culture yeah before I probably would have dropped out of school you know what I'm saying not I'm not um suggesting that to anybody you feel me school helped me get acquainted to a lot of people with networking things like that but like I just feel like if I ain't had school I probably wouldn't and when I'm I'm looking at your career yeah. I'm like man it like it's shit going up for real. like you don't really have to but it's definitely a choice Thanks. I think I think that's dope as shit yeah so. The kids, like all the life things that's going on, how are you be able to stay focused on the music? Like, how do you zone in and tap in with the music when it's time to tap in? Um, I just take every day for what it is. I soak up everything I learn every day, and then you know I try to put it in my music and express it the best way I can. But that's what I'm working on now. Um, I feel like that was. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you. I feel like that was a very industry thing. Like that was like a very media trained thing to say. Like, how, like how, I know it's some shit that's going on what? and it's hard. Nah, nah, cause listen, man, everybody come on platform, they try to be media trained and shit. Nah, talk to me about the real, cause I know it get, I know it get frustrating. I know the kids get on your goddamn nerves. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> life, facts. Like, you know, but I have a very good ass, like, support system. I have mm. a, I have a village, you know, I have a mom, I have a dad, I have grandmothers. I have great grandmothers still alive. I have cousins I have aunts I have and I trust these people you know and they down in Houston with me so it's like my village is strong you know what I'm saying to the point where they want me I can stay focused on what I need to do and keep my you know eye on the prize while I know my kids is in good hands I know they getting good grades they going to school every day we got a good relationship we stand in touch you know what I'm saying I'm doing what I need to do as a mom so you know that keeps me sane because if my kids were somewhere fucked off and you know I wouldn't be doing this, you know what I'm saying? Mm, so I feel hard. like they in a great place right now. So I I have a peaceful mind about that. You know how how like how fortunate, how blessed are you to have that like that village? A lot of people don't have that. Super, shit. Cause, because <laughs> you know, I, and it's so crazy because I be I want to be like the inspiration for women my age and who got kids like who feel like you know, damn, I wish I could pursue my dreams or go sing or something. I don't, I can't because I got kids. I don't got nobody to watch my kids and all that, but it's like, it's ways around everything. I sat in my car. I had my kids in the house or while they was at school, I sit in my car, do my freestyles. Upload them hoes on um, Instagram and they went up every time. Like, so I feel like it's really no excuse, especially in the entertainment world and so much like digital stuff. We got metaverse. You got people buying fake land out here now. People so it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, it's so much you could do out here. It's really no excuse. Like, as a mother, as however, if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, it's really never too late to really just do what you want to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? So I just always felt like that. Rather you had that village or not, you know, use your what you have and you could, like make the best of it. No, hundred percent. I yeah. see we can't again we won't go back to this right the fifteen oh one chain is big as hell. You, you shining, see me? you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you uh when you finally signed or whatever the case may be, did you already know of the situation with Megan Thee Stallion or yeah. was you not too privy of it? I heard of it. I heard about it on the internet and stuff, but again. So me me playing devil's advocate, let's have fun, right? I mean, I got the whole you got the whole click in here and shit, I fuck around get jumped in this motherfucker, but let's just be real. I just wanna be real. You're a lady you see the you see the shit that's going on, right? And honestly, in this in this days and age, it's hard to say anything about a girl as a man. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be careful. Your lady, you see the shit going on. Megan is saying these niggas ain't right. Da 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 da. -da. You being a woman, what made you say, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna go ahead and make this move. I'm a woman. That's enough said. So mm. I know, regardless of whatever situation. A lot of bitches be dramatic, you know what I'm saying? I can't or say that. you know, or they or <laughs> or they just don't tell the whole truth all the time. Or you just gotta see people for who they are and everybody's situation ain't the same. So you can hear something bad about somebody 
and you just like, oh, I ain't gonna fuck with him because such and such said. Well, if you believe everything such and such said, you know what I'm saying? Where would you really you, be? You're a fool. Where would you really be in life? 100%. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? So, like, just because that happened to her, don't mean it's gonna happen to me. You know, that's her situation. However, she moved was how she moved. However, I moved was how I moved. So, yeah, you know. I wanna, um, a couple more questions before we get out of here. Uh, you say you're from Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> What's so dope about Ohio? Cause like I'm from Baltimore, I love my city. You, I'm yeah. gonna say it a hundred times. So like I'm just curious. Like you from Ohio? I'm like I don't even know. I never even been to Ohio. So like we me. just we just some dope ass, fresh ass, creative ass, real ass people. Like, like what? How? You know what I'm saying? Like you don't know nobody from Toledo, Ohio? No, I know one person from Ohio. I think his name is LeBron James. I think he's from Akron. Oh, he's from Cleveland. Oh, yeah, I, from Akron, Akron, I know Akron, Akron, uh, Akron, Akron, Akron. Bow Wow, right? I think he's from Ohio. No, I think. I think he's from Columbus. Well, he is from Columbus, but I thought he's from Atlanta now. Yeah, I mean, that's what he says. So that's, I'm trying to. But you know, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. So I just, we just, we just dope ass people. I just feel like where I come from was a real hood ass, real genuine ass place. It was just a, a fun place. You know, the, the place where the street lights come on, you outside on your, on your bike, and your mama yelling <laughs> your, your name, you hear around the block, you know what I'm saying? You come back type shit. It was real small, you know, a lot of like. Not a lot of high schools, not a lot of middle schools. So it's just like everybody know everybody. It's just kind of like a home to me. But, you know, I moved down in Houston, so that's that made me into a woman. Houston crazy. Yeah. Houston lit. It is. It's, it's I feel it like is. in Houston is like a different breed of people. Like, I'm it not is. even going to lie. Like, it's a different breed of women. It's a different breed of men. Motherfucker, girls. It's like a lit. melting pot. Like, everybody there from different places. Like, yeah, shit crazy. It's like, lit. It nah, is. Shit crazy. It is. So I love it. I, Again, I seen one of your videos you rapping and saying if you had to choose, if you had to X one out, which one would it be? I don't know, cause I got an attitude problem, and so like when I get an attitude, I like to rap, you know. But then when I want to be soft and sweet, I like to get on that mic and sing, you know what I'm saying? So it's hard. I don't understand what you're saying. You want some bullshit right now? <laughs> like, if, you to, if, you had, if you had to X one no, out, no, I'm serious. Like if I had to X one out, it would be rapping. Damn. So you would sing. So you were born singer. I think so. I just haven't really tapped into that real that stomach, that gut. You feel me? Like I know I can. It's a confidence thing. We are gonna get there real soon. But I yeah, mean, it look like you're confident than me. I mean, yeah, but you know, everybody don't just because you know they don't look like looks it. can be deceiving. I feel yeah, you. absolutely. So, have anybody ever told you like in in this time, not like when you was young, in this time you lit Martina Marie? You know what I'm saying? Right. Has anybody ever been like? You need to stick to rapping because you can't sing. Yeah. I, I see it in the comments, you know. Like, I would be singing around the house, you know, when I was in my last situation. He'd be like, man, would you shut up? Your man like, would say that? Yes. Oh, shit. And I was like, dang, what the fuck? I can't sing. I ain't saying you can't sing, but damn, it's just, you been singing all morning. Like, and it's just like, if it sound beautiful, it wouldn't bother you. So I feel like it would fuck with my confidence a little bit. <laughs> But on for on like on some real shit though, like I just stopped letting that stuff get to me, mm. and I just like how? do it. I how was you able to do that? It's so I many block people. Block it out. I learned how to block a lot of shit out. Again. No, mentally, mentally, it's all in the mind. But like how? you control, you control your mind. Nobody how? control. How? What do you mean how? I mean how because. Do you hear voices? Do you feel like you talk to yourself? Like I talk to myself. It was a tweet that you, wasn't. That was. You know what that what I, I talk to myself all the time. Nigga. Me too. So I feel like I just go with the positive every right. time. But I feel like that's easy, right? To say, it's yeah. somebody out there somewhere. That's going through this and they struggling. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So if you could give them some advice on some real shit though, like what was instead of not just blocking out, we know we blocked it out, right? We right. know we blocked it out, we mature in it. But to somebody that's not as mature as us and that's not able to block the comments out, block the haters out, how was you able to get over that hump? Shit. You cry about it and get back up and then you just do fuck it. Say mm. fuck it. For real, you might be mad, but like for real, like you really just get over shit. I fuck with that. Yeah, I like that. What you got going on, man? Tell me about your music. Tell me about what you got dropping. How can people follow you? How can they get the music? How can they support you? All that shit. So y'all, all y'all gotta do is go to Google, right? Because everybody Google everything, right? And you type in Martina Marie. Not Martina Snow. Don't not do that Martina. shit. Don't, Don't do that type shit. in Martina Snow. You are not gonna find me. Don't do that. Sorry, but might, I mean they might, might find though. a fake blog, but you ain't they gonna might find, find me. you though. They <laughs> might find you. Know what I mean? My name is Martina Marie. Google it, I swear to God, nobody gonna pop up but me. Okay? okay. It's gonna I'm take you to Google my YouTube. Right my Instagram is original Martina Marie. My Twitter is the only OG Marie, cause it's big OG shit over here, you know what I'm saying? And then you yeah, look young like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I know that's that good genes, baby. Take care of yourself. Take care of your skin, you know, eat good, you know, work out a little bit. You a vegan? Nah. 
You talk, you on here on camera talking. But how you know vegan? What is what is vegan? Nigga, I don't know. I ain't a vegan. It, what, I eat what meat. Is, I eat all that. Pause. Hey, that was bad. I eat good <laughs> food. You feel me? Like, 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 so I, but what is vegan? What is the meat? Nigga, it we, we don't know what grass. is what. <laughs> I'm being ignorant. If it take, I just feel like if it's good, baby, do you, baby? Fact. But like, really take care of yourself though. Like, don't just overload yourself on like cholesterol and like fried foods and shit. But like, keep a balance. I just feel like you just need to enjoy the better things in life sometimes. Now, give me hip though. Give me some. Like what's something that I should I don't know like your most popular track right now that everybody's Daddy. fucking with Daddy Daddy is streaming y'all know Valentine's Day coming up February 14th you know you got mm -hmm. Lady you got yeah hell yeah hell all right yeah, so you yeah. need to put her on in that song right and I guarantee you like I don't know if y'all you know what I'm saying should your lady ever call you Daddy uh, I think she's or she's, Daddy with the Z no 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 she's I think she's called me that to like her friends but like she my girl was like a strong one of them. Only no, nah, I'm lying. She she. She's I think a she feminist. Probably, nah, but it's been some girls that don't fuck with that daddy shit. Only daddy they calling is their right, father. Right, I get that. She ain't one. She but she like almost like the she girls not that dead. get it, get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But like my shorty, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you, shorty. But like play that know, song there. She's and strong. Even I feel like everybody need to have this on their playlist, on their sex playlist. Everybody got a bump and grind playlist, a little slow jam, just a little ease your mind playlist so you sing it on this yes daddy needs to be on it that is what i'm pushing mm. valentine's day coming up make sure y'all go get that Video tell me where to follow you and all that again instagram original martina marie twitter the only og marie and everything else is martina marie hey i appreciate you this interview could have went left because when i said that shit i feel like i just feel like you was waiting to say that shit I, I really like I wasn't. Said that shit earlier. I thought you was being messy. You was like, "What's up, Martina Snow?" And I'm just like, "Right." I knew I said it. How All you right, start cool. the